And Israel has been forgetting his God every now and then. And they ended up in slavery. The 12 brothers forgot who God was. That's why they had to bow down before the one who remembered who God is. The people who will remember who God is, they will rule. But the people who forget every now and then who God is, they will always bow down and crouch even for a prayer. And now they are all in the slavery. So God heard the cries of people and Moses rose up. And all of a sudden God with many miracles and many miracles took out Egypt. God took out Israelites from Egypt. Can I tell you, God who stopped the miracle is the God of miracles. He can restart the miracle. I have a good news for you. The God who stopped the miracles can restart the miracles only if you cry unto him. Even if you do not have leader, God is going to birth one leader. And I want to tell you the humor of God is that the king who wanted to keep people under the slavery, under the same king, God raised up a man who would take the people out from the slavery. Moses was raised up in the same palace from which the entire people was kept under the slavery. The same place of ruling will become the place of ruling of God. Out of the same place from where the commands came to bound you will come the commands to lose you. Come on, give God the glory. Say, God, you can turn. Come on, somebody say, God can turn. He can turn your job. He can turn your family. He can turn your life. That is the same thing that he's able to turn. And he's the table turner for a long time. Come on, somebody shout out. He's a table turner. Come on. He's a table turner. He's a table turner. When you get to the Lord, he's a table. Oh, I love that. He's a table turner in my job. He's a table turner in my life. He's a table turner in my finance. He's a table turner. He's a table turner. Somebody hold to God. The table turner.